Welcome to this tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to train the Communicate AI chatbot on your existing Zendesk Help Center content. Once you are inside the Zendesk dashboard, here, on the right side of the screen, you'll find a variety of Zendesk features like Guide, Gather, Chat, and Talk. In this tutorial, our focus will be on the Help Center. Click on the Guide button to get started. Upon clicking the Guide button, you'll be presented with a list of topics. Each topic contains relevant questions and answers. Let's choose a random question for demonstration, such as, how do I create an account on billing help? The Help Center is a rich resource with numerous queries and a wealth of data. However, it can be quite a task for users or customers to go through this data to find the precise information they're searching for. In addition, reaching out to customer service for every minor query isn't always feasible as it can lead to an increased workload for the customer service team. To streamline this process and make it more user-friendly, you can train a chatbot using the data from the Zendesk Help Center. The chatbot will fetch and train on this data, providing precise answers to customer queries based on the information in the Help Center. Imagine the convenience if a user could directly interact with a chatbot and get their queries answered quickly. Typically, if you were to approach your developer team for this, it would probably take them three to four working days to create a chatbot and integrate it with the Health Center. However, you don't need to worry. Communicate is here to simplify the process. For this tutorial, you'll need a Communicate account. To sign up for a free Communicate account, use the link provided in the description. After signing up, log in to Communicate. Welcome to the Communicate dashboard. To create a chatbot, navigate to the Bot Integration tab and select the option to create a new chatbot. This will open up the chatbot builder. Here, select a blank template. Now, let's name our chatbot Zendesk Help Center. Once the setup is complete, you'll notice a tab on the left side named Knowledge Source. Click on this tab and you'll be taken to a page with a tab named Knowledge Base. Here, you have two options for your Knowledge Base. Zendesk and Salesforce. For this demonstration, we'll select Zendesk. The data here is pre-filled from our previous test. To get this data, go to your Zendesk account and click on the Settings button. From there, navigate to the Admin Center. On the left side, you'll find the option for Apps and Integrations. Click on this, and under APIs, select Zendesk API. Once inside, you'll notice that we have this feature disabled. Let's enable it and create a new token to show you how it would look the first time you use it. Click on Add API Token. We'll name this Help Center Zendesk. This will be your new API token. Don't forget to save it. Now, let's copy the token and return to the Communicate dashboard. Here, fill in your email ID and subdomain. Next, we'll fill in the access token and connect it to Zendesk. Upon clicking, you'll notice that the settings have been updated and refreshed. Now. Let's put this chatbot to the test. Click on the test button. Remember the question we saw earlier on the Zendesk Help Center? We'll copy that question and ask it to the chatbot. Notice how the chatbot, now connected to the Zendesk Help Center, directly responds to our query. See how simple that was? Chatbot can save a significant amount of time for your customer support team and also for your customers. Enhance your customer service with Communicate. There's no need to type out the entire accurate question. A simple query like, how to create an account, will suffice. The chatbot is designed to provide a response, regardless of how precise your query is. It's intelligent enough to understand your question and deliver the right answers. Furthermore, this chatbot can be integrated and deployed into various platforms, including WhatsApp and Instagram. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, Please subscribe to our channel to stay updated.